Hey, hey, you know who it is. It's GGM Green, and I'm here to be seen, and so are you. It's Wednesday, and you know what we do on Wednesday, right? So it is Word of the Day, Wednesday. Now, this one got me choked up a little bit, I gotta tell y'all, because there's a little story behind why I chose this word, but I'll get to that. First off, the word of the day is ribulose. Ribulose. R-I-V-U-L-O-S-E. It's an adjective and it means marked with irregularities or crooked lines. Now, this word is usually used by scientists and it means the markings on insects, the squiggly lines, the the, irregular, the irregularities, <laughs> irregularities, the imperfections, okay? I just made an imperfection. Um, or on mushrooms, but it also can be used when we talk about people, when you talk about um, wrinkles or stretch marks or any kind of, um, imperfections, lines, things like that. Now, why this word uh, means so much to me is because I'm letting you guys know, I haven't told many people, I think I told two people or they told me because I didn't even know, um, I hadn't been on Amazon for a minute. So, secret y'all, your girl is officially an Amazon bestseller. What? <laughs> I can't take it. I cannot take it. Y'all, let me tell you. First of all, let me tell you the book because I know some of y'all, but you didn't even mention the book. Okay, because I'm a little taken aback. Look, so your girl, GGM Green, is an official Amazon bestseller for one of my books, because I have a few, one of my books called Step by Step, How to Get Your First Job in TV. Okay, Step by Step, How to Get Your First Job in TV. Boom. Back to Rivulos. Why this word really stands out to me is because I always view myself as the outsider, the underdog, which is why I'm such a big supporter and I love the Olympics because that can be a whole nother video, but quickly, I love the fact of people coming from wherever Nebraska or 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 wherever uh, Illinois and they work hard and they get to the Olympics and we hear these stories. They were working at Home Depot and they were training at night or whatever, and they walk away with a medal. They were the best in the world but they're regular people that just trained hard um, and had a goal and a mission and they go to the Olympics and they win a medal. That's just inspiring. I don't care who you are, that has to inspire you. So with that, back to Rivulos. When I read that word, it reminded me of how I had never written a book before. I was a writer, yes but I had never written a book before. I didn't know anything about it. And the steps that I took to learn the process, there were people trying to charge me $15,000 more than that, but we ain't gonna go there. My point is I had to figure it out. All my imperfections, all my little quirks. I don't know everything. I don't always get words right. And that doesn't matter because I'm a writer. I'm trying to have fun. I'm hoping I help someone. Now, of course, I know the words when I need to know the words. Let's be straight. Come on. But I'm talking about I am the girl next door. And it reminded me, if I can do it, you can too. So with that, all my imperfections, all of your imperfections, you still can do whatever you're trying to do. If you want to get to New York Best Time Seller, you can do it. You got to learn the steps, moves, and how it works. But I'm just, 
over the moon right now. I cannot tell you. Like, I am stoked. I'm amped. I'm all of that. Your girl is an Amazon bestseller who didn't know how to write a book or how to market or any of that. That's all I'm saying. If I can do it, you can too. So, rivulose. Adjective. It means marked by irregularities or crooked lines. Use it how you will, but let me hear it in the comments how you're going to use that word, how it touches your life, how your character would use the word. Hmm? That's what I really want to know. Let me know in the comments. Other than that, it's Wednesday, which means word of the day, Wednesday. Rivulose. This is your girl, GGM Green. I'm here to be seen, and so are you.